Well, it's definitely not a conventional uh, end to the voyage, but it certainly is a unique way to end our- Oh my gosh. And I was just struck by a tsunami. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We are back in Tiny Sailor's World and we're going to be going on a voyage across the map. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Now it's been a little while since I've done a voyage in Tiny Sailor's World, so basically sailing from one port to another. And I'm currently in San Francisco and that's what I plan on doing. So I'm going to be sailing to Southampton, so we'll see how this goes. Now, first things first, we're going to want to spawn in a ship, and I'm thinking let's go with a classic ocean liner. So we'll scroll down and see what we can find here. All right, so I'm thinking about going with the Ile de France. We don't really get to use this ship a lot, so uh, yeah, let's spawn it in. All right, so here we have the Ile de France. I have loaded it up with passengers and cargo, and we're going to say goodbye to San Francisco as we make our way to Southampton. Now, I'm going to be leaving the watertight doors open for this voyage unless something happens, and uh, that's just because I want to get there fast, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Now, we're going to be sailing through the direct center of the map, which means there's probably going to be an ice field or something there, so we got to watch out. But luckily, it'll probably be day by the time we get there because it's already 2 in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That, uh, that is not good. We just ran into a mine. I was about to say our top speed was around 23 knots, but now it's gone down to 15, which is a little concerning. But what's more concerning is, well... The bow is really low in the water. We took a lot of damage with that one. See, this is why you look underwater in game, so you see if you're not running into a minefield. And there we got the nice sun rising over the horizon there. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue our way to Southampton. We might actually stop over at Honolulu and, uh, see if we can fully repair. I think we'll be able to pump out some more water, but, uh, not fully repair. So, yeah, stopping there would be good. A view from the bridge reveals how low the bow really is in the water. You can actually see the wake on either side, so yeah, definitely a concerning sight. Luckily, we've got plenty of lifeboats, so if we do end up sinking, we should be fine. However, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure some of the crew probably didn't survive that. The water rushing in probably consumed that compartment faster than anyone could escape, especially with how fast it dropped into the water, so yeah, that is unfortunate. It would also be wise not to open your porthole if you're on any of these cabins because, well, you wouldn't want your cabin to flood or the ship to sink. Speaking about water, let's see if we can pump some out. And yeah, there we go. So we got some health back. We're back in the green, which is good. We've got some speed. And uh, yeah, we're still going to stop at Honolulu because, well, I mean, the ship is still not looking great. It's at an angle and uh, sort of resembles the movie that this ship was in. I believe it was called The Last Voyage. Very interesting film. And there's Honolulu. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stop. We are going to uh, see what we can do about the damage. And um, yeah, maybe we can actually upgrade the ship or fix it from a menu. All right, so let's go to vehicle stats. All right, so you can see where the damage is right at the front of the ship. All right, so let's repair the vehicle. There we go, perfect. And I think we should be good. It did cost around $2,000, but still, I mean, that's a pretty cheap price to pay with a massive ocean liner. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so at this point, we are really entering the ice fields, and oh my gosh, I just realized this is going to be a very treacherous voyage here because, well, I mean, we have to squeeze between these two pieces of ice. Luckily, we made it. This is another tight squeeze. Oh my gosh. We barely just made it through that. If our ship was any wider or had a deeper draft, we would have been screwed. So here we go. We are now leaving the thick of it. And uh, yeah, that should be the end of the icebergs, or at least these large ones. Now let's go ahead and let's get back on course. So we'll turn this way and we should be good. All right, so we're closing in a little ways to go until we get there. But one thing that we do have to be worried about is more mines. And our fuel is down to 22%, which... Uh, well, that's just not good. At least for me, anyway. I like to keep it above 20%, and we're about to drop under that in just a moment. We really should have stopped at that other port, Castaway K, because, yeah, that would have saved us. Now we're down to 3%. Oh, boy. And there we go. Out of fuel. So, I'm not sure what to do. I guess I'll signal something out on the Marconi wireless, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that might get some response, so there we go. Now we wait. 
It is just a waiting game. All right, so the sun is broken on a new day, but I think there is a ship coming to my aid, and uh, we'll see if they arrive. All right, so I see them. They're in the distance. They're coming to help us, so I gotta thank this person for helping me out and uh, coming to my aid when, uh, well, my ship is not really in the best of uh, situations. All right, so that is a very cool-looking ship. So, uh, yeah, here we are, and uh, they have crashed into us. All right, so it looks like they're hooking up to me right now, which is good, because, um, well... We're gonna need to be towed, so, uh, yeah. Well, it's definitely not a conventional, uh, end to the voyage, but it certainly is a unique way to end our- Oh my gosh. And I was just struck by a tsunami. Luckily, I have survived. And here we are. We have arrived at Southampton. So yeah, I gotta thank these guys for, uh, well, bringing me to my destination. And, uh, yeah. So now that we have arrived at Southampton and refueled and dropped off our passengers, it's now time to sink the ship. So, uh, yeah, I've kind of grown pretty attached to this after the journey we've gone through and the help we've gotten. So, uh, it is going to be a little bit sad to see it go down, but, uh, well, it's just what we do. So, yeah. Now, we are slightly damaged, so why not sink by current damage? All right, so here we go. We are starting to go down. We're starting to roll over to the starboard side. We got boats still leaving the ship. At this point, there's nothing that can really be done. The ship is pretty much doomed. Now, we're not in super deep water, so we're probably going to lose the bow first, and it's going to impact the seafloor, and the rest of the ship is just going to go down. And it just went down. Okay, so... That was actually really fast. I don't think I caught it there. I was moving my character, but yeah, it just went down. And you can see the wreck is pretty cool. It's lying on its side. We got the funnels down. Well, and that was a pretty interesting voyage and rescue. That's actually a first for me. Running out of fuel and being towed. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.